How are you doing guys and girls? Welcome back to 3 Minute Thursday. This is episode 7 of series 3. Today's move is super hard and this is how it is. Now the reason why this move is so hard is because you're throwing two objects to one position to catch them in one hand. Now the two throws that you need to be doing are fairly simple throws. So once you figure out those throws, this move does become easier. So the move or the throw with a tin is just simply a front to back, a flat front to back. And um, you're gonna be catching uh, the tin in a tennis grab behind your back, like this. The better you get at this move, you can start adding spins, okay? But to start with, just do it flat like that. That's the easy part of the move, okay? The throw with the bottle is an over the shoulder, the same kind of throw that you would do with a handstool, okay? The same amount of spins, a spin and a half but you want the, the base of the bottle to be coming down here where the shaker is. So you want the throw to be here. So start practicing that over the shoulder and catching it like this in your hand, okay? All right, the more that you can get that perfect and then you start doing one, two, dropping it on the floor, okay? That is essentially the move, it's over, and catching it inside the shaker. Now also the difficult part about this move is, you may have seen this move done before like this. So you're holding the beer grab of the tin. Okay, which is also difficult. The way we're doing it when you're catching it in tennis grab, the reason why it becomes difficult is because you can do little pinches on your skin. So please practice this with a plastic bottle to begin with because if you start hitting it on the edge of the tin with a glass bottle, it can break, it can cut you. So be ple please, please be prepared and practice with a plastic model to start with. But it is all about getting those throws perfect. So one, or sorry, flat throw we're doing. One, two. You see how the bottle isn't going super high, okay? You can do it higher if you want to. The better you become at the move, you can do double spins, triple spins to make this move look a little bit more extravagant. But just to start with, you just do one behind the back, over the shoulder, and you see I'm moving my body to, uh, as to where the bottle is. If I throw the bottle too far back, I need to move my body back over here. If I throw it too far forward, I need to twist around a lot more to move my arm over there, okay? So when you start putting it together, okay, it's gonna become confusing because you have an object coming this way and you have an object coming this way and you have to link them all together and catch them in your weak hand because you're gonna be throwing the bottle with your strong hand, you're gonna throw in the tin with your weaker hand, okay? Uh, and you need to make sure that you're throwing those correctly to be able to catch it correctly. I have said this before in another video, but I'll say it again and I'll probably say it in the future. 80% of how you catch something is how you throw it. So if you throw it correctly, the catch is gonna become a lot, lot easier. But give this one a shot. It is a super difficult one to get because there's a lot of different things happening together and you have to make sure the two objects come together in the same position. But if you have any questions, as per usual, please put it in the comments box below. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know how you're getting on. Tag me on Instagram if you're practicing these moves. Tom Dyer, bartender, and I'll share it to my stories. Um, uh, but until next time, don't forget to share, subscribe, like, send it to your friends, uh, and good luck practicing this move. See you next time.